In today's Pokemon card opening, we're opening up the new set, Temporal Forces, and in particular, the Elite Trainer Boxes. But not just any Elite Trainer Boxes, no, that is right. In today's video, we're opening up the Pokemon Center exclusive versions because we're completely degening and we like to spend money. But the Scarlet and Violet era, there's been quite a few uh, new sets that have come out, and they've got two ETBs for it. So we have the Future Box. Sorry, I'm just getting a nice little angle for you. So we've got the Future Box here, and the Ancient Box here. Before we do open them, let me know um, in the comments down below, what you prefer are you an ancient pokemon fan or are you a future pokemon fan me personally i'm on the ancient side of it but don't let it sway your opinion because from what i've heard the pull rates for this set the pull rates for this set are not massive so we could be struggling here guys we could be struggling but we have extra packs because it is the pokemon center one so you never know will that make a difference will it make it worth buying these i don't know but let's get straight into the opening i'm going to open up the future one first before the ancient one because I'm going to say we're ending up on, up on the better. But that's just my personal opinion when it comes to the ancient Pokemon. I just prefer them the R and uh, as Pokemon in terms of the game itself. So yeah, don't forget to let me know who you think is going to win. Who you think is going to get the better hits. Okay, so we'll get into the book first very quickly. It's sort of got the usual bits and pieces. In particular, this set, however, it is the Ace Specs. So they're a returning card. Some old ones, some new ones. And in particular, the Prime Catcher. Oh, down pot here because I just realized it's behind the camera. And this card is going for in the UK at least like £25 at the moment. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Partly with EUIC coming next week as, as of time of recording this. With the new rotation, this is going to be one of the most used cards in the entire. Like, I reckon 75% usage of this card here. And then Master Ball actually won't be too far behind. And I think it's partly because Lu Lugia decks will be used. As for the rest of the book, it is very similar to, the, to all the others we've had. So, you know. That's the one that's really expensive at the moment, and I wouldn't believe the hype around that at the moment. And then we get onto the set as usual. So there's quite quite a lot of EXs in this set. Uh, the set itself is not uh, massive compared to some of the other sets we've had. However, as we go through this, you'll notice the A specs are scattered. They're not just like in their own section. But when we come to the back, there's a lot of illustration rares. Maybe not as many as like Paldea Evolved or whatever it is, but still quite a lot obviously you've got the ghastly one here which is top of everyone's and then you've got into full arts and of course you've got you've got my favorite pokemon you've got gengar that's right gengar's in the set i'm actually really excited to open this and sort of open as much and try and get as many of these as possible because well i like gengar i've always thought about do i try and chase this card lots and well obviously i want to open it for the main set but for completion's sake but i'm not gonna like chase it chase it and then obviously the gold cards are well they are incredible texture wise so hopefully you get to open one of them but i won't waste any more of your time let's get straight into this so we'll go through the more boring bits so obviously your block of energy and your sleeves not too bad sleeves it's always nice to get in these but i wouldn't worry about them too much the condition markers and the dice you will get a nice qr code there for everyone for the bot you get the dividers and it's just Walking Wake version will be very similar in terms of just on one side and then just a the normal colour. I'm not going to open up both in exactly the same way because I don't want to waste too much time. And then with the Pokemon Center exclusive, you get two promos. So you get the, the usual one, in this case Iron Forms for the Future. And then you get the Pokemon Center exclusive one, which has the stamp on it. So actually quite nice little promos from this. And this box behind have exactly the same. So I'm not going to go into, when I open this one, I'm not going to go into detail apart, apart from the promos and the packs just to save time, but you now know what is inside these and the ETBs you've never opened one before, or especially a Pokemon Center one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. Ten packs. Normally you get, what is it, eight, nine packs in the normal one, so, so you do get more. You do get more. So, hopefully, hopefully we open up some good stuff. Like I said, the pull weight isn't massive. So, let's get rolling. Can we get some amazing pulls in our first ten pull forces opening on the channel? Don't I've got a booster box as well. And there'll be more stuff coming, so do not worry about that. Here we go. Cypher Manage Code Breaking, which I think is a very good card, and we'll see more and more play as the format evolves. Source Buck. Here we go. First Holo Droysian. First Holo Coconaut. First Holo Coconaut <laughs> into a foot alligator. Okay, so nothing from that one. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Foot alligator is also a deck that it might not be the best deck in the world. But actually, you might see some play. Troll Cat, again, you've got the... Um, oh, wow. What, what's what's the final evolution of that called? Oh, wow. Anyway, yeah, that's also a deck. Oh, I, can't, I can't believe I can't... can't even remember it. Can't remember that. Anyway, so here we go. <laughs> Shift Tree, Iron Douglas. Huchenna. Hand Trimmer. Boom. There we go. Our first hit of, 
of the entire set is an Iron Boulder EX Full Art. And as you can see, it's got the futuristic style background, and I think all the future ones have this, and the um, ancient ones have something slightly different. Okay, first hit's a Full Art. We'll take that. You know, well, let's face it, there's a lot of these to get, so the more we open, the easier it makes collecting this set, because I don't want to necessarily buy the cards, and I don't want to open up too much, because it's a lot of money. Bangers Devotion again. Hopefully we get the uh, full art and the uh, secret art there for that one. Here we go. Nothing in this pack. So yeah, I don't even know what like, you know, some some sets it's like, on average, even though it's not guaranteed, you get like three hits in an ETB. Maybe four of it's a um, Pokemon Center exclusive. In this, I generally have no idea what it is. Um, which is good. And let's go. Ooh, Buddy Buddy Poffing. I'm going to put it to one side because that's a very playable card. It's, well, I say it's a new Battle VIP. It's not exactly the same, works slightly differently, but... Ooh, reverse follow mist energy, first follow rapid ash, all the lighting's changed, and a whimsicott. So yeah, the weather in the UK at the moment is all over the place. It could be sunny, really well, warm for this time of year, and then absolutely bucketing down next. And so there's some natural light coming from over here, and therefore it is changing it a little bit. Hopefully I've got these on the right hand side, and you can see Wiglet. I love the little throwback artwork here. If you know, you know. Let me know in the comments if you do know. <laughs> like a rock, Salvatore. First on Mud Bray. First on Slosis. Into an Iron Thorns. So, as you can see, we're already sort of halfway through. There's only five packs left, and we've literally got one hit. And and that is how this set could be, guys. It could be quite scary. Um, it may be one of those sets that you buy your usual bits to open. Maybe it's a case of, um, yeah, just. Behind the singles. I don't, I don't know. And I'll have a video coming out later. Oh, I do like the reverse color in the ancient. C dot. Morning moon. Okay, so some good cards for like if you're playing in the uh, new rotation at EUIC, but not for collecting and for videos. And well, that's kind of what we're here for. Um, I'll do a video at some point in the next few weeks, sort of as prices die down. If it's worth opening loads and loads to try and get it, or is it actually just worth buying the set out? I mean, as much as I don't always like saying that, promoting that idea, sometimes. Those that have lots of money, like myself actually, then um, sometimes buying it straight up is cheaper than buying all the silver products. Do we get anything in this one? We do not. Oh, okay. <laughs> and there we go. The Maridon EX of the set. And the QR code guy is for you all. Right, three packs left. Three packs left of the of the uh, future one. Who knows what we're going to get in the ancient. But you know, if you picked future, then clearly you want more. Because, I mean, I just want more all the time. Right, Litten Tour Cat. Wow, what's the other one called? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for someone in the comments to be like, it's it's this card, how can you forget? I mean, it's like, on the best Pokemon in terms of VGC and in general, and I generally can't remember what it is. Here we go, Beldum, into, Latias into, Fluttermane, playable card again. I'm just making sure the lighting's okay for you guys. QR code. I will remember what the Pokemon's called by the end of this. I will remember. I probably won't. In fact, I had a community day on, on um, Pokemon Go, the Litten, and, and I actually got a shiny version of it. Why? Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so, um, an alternate pack of the Future Box. Oh, lighting, come on, let's not, let's not ruin it now. Sandy Shocks. Noctilus. Grubbin. Breloom. Another Feraligator. Maybe we're destined to play the Feraligator deck go <laughs> in a new format. I mean, I don't want to. I want to make the Gengar deck. Not because it's competitive, but it's Gengar, and it's it's kind of a playable card. It's an it's an interesting card. Uh, that's a very playable card in the Lugia deck. Future Booster Energy Capsule. Come on. Get into the last ones. Four. Okay. Chino. Do we get anything in the last pack of the... Uh, no, not Ancient. Future. Pokemon Center ETB. Maril. Into a Macargo. So, guys. That is literally all we've got from one Pokemon Center ETB. So I know you get the promos, but wow, guys, wow. I, I knew this set was going to be tough. I didn't know it was going to be this tough. Okay, and if you picked Ancient, so which is kind of the one I want to win, then um, yeah, here we go. We've got this one. So I'm going to open it up. I'm not going to go through the contents because it's exactly the same as the future, just obviously slightly different artwork. It's got the walking wake on the front instead of the iron leaf. So we go. So it's the QR code for that one. And we have the Fluttermane promo for this one. So we have the normal version and then the... And then the Pokemon Center. Oh, okay, so that's the normal version. Then we've got the Pokemon Center exclusive down here. Sorry, I've, I thought it was going to be in the same place as the Iron Thorns. Iron Thorns? Yeah, that one. Here we go again, guys. We have 10 packs. 10 packs. 
Let me know what we could get from this, guys. Who are you waiting for? Two, wait, two pulls to, to, to sort of draw is not a lot. Um, so in terms of Ancient, it's, it's got a low, low, low ceiling to beat. However, oh, eerie. Now this, however, is a very playable card all of a sudden, uh, which would be interesting to watch. Um, here we go. Center score. Totodile. Dunce boss. Ooh, okay. Our first trainer. Um, full art or just different kind of cards. Salvatore. There's the QR code. Ancient is doing is doing something, guys. It's doing something. And for those of you who are attending EUIC, I will also be there. I didn't get a chance to, well, I didn't get um, entry. However, I'm spectating some there on the Friday and Saturday. Maybe on the Sunday, we'll, we'll have a field. So if you do see me, please say hi. I'll hopefully be giving out some cards in and around. Um, and obviously doing some challenges, filming and bits and pieces. But yeah, if you do see me, definitely come and say hello. Reverse Hollow Electrovia, Reverse Hollow Great Tusk, and a Bramble Ghast. Okay. Is that the first Bramble Ghast we have? I don't know why. In, in my head, I think like, that's the first Bramble Ghast. And it's a uh, Bramble Ghast could become like 450 HP if it, you're down to one prize card, which is absolutely hilarious. And then can do a lot of damage with the amount of energy on it, I think it is. There we go. Another Body Poffin. That's what we want to see. Here we go. Box Order. First Hollow Flutter Main. First Hollow Lickitung. Ooh. And a Corridon EX, guys. Okay. So we've got the Moridon and Corridon EX. The future. An ancient sort of like poster childs of Scarlet and Violet, the main legendary Pokemon. We've also got a future Pokemon in terms of Iron Boulder. Can we get? Can we get the uh, a, an ancient one? I mean, obviously a Walking Wake would be amazing because that's the box we're opening right now. But Shaman, Salvatore, and then another for Alligator. Is it me, or are we we getting more for Alligators than I think? Or is it just actually there aren't many? normal rares in this set which i think is a very big theme in the scarlet and violet era yeah so you just get loads of them um, which is great if they're playable but not if they're not <laughs> if that just sounds really weird now that i've said that out loud anyway so or uh, reverse for the it's co-breaking but i chino and another flutter main i think actually now that i've opened up another flutter main i think it's literally that i think it's literally the fact that there aren't that many which means there's lots of exes to get which is good but not from a pull rate scenario. Now, we've already hit the two, which is great. Can we can we one up the future? Hadrima. Ooh, Drampa. Oh yeah, don't forget the QR code this time. And that's a cool Drampa in terms of the never ending story. So again, if you know you know, I'm not gonna explain it. Or look up the never ending story. Wait, I have said that right. Now now that I've said it out loud, I'm like, wait, is that is that the right film? Is that the right book? Ow. Anyway, here we go, Skitty. Into Electro Buzz. Rambling. Rafferi, come on guys, you know you want something, just something for the video, make it good. And the gold card would be absolutely amazing. Bianca's Devotion, Unjugus, into the Maridon. Again, some playable cards for like the future, um, the future box, future tool deck, whatever you want to call it. We've also got some of the ancient ones for that as well. You know, we, we open up the, uh, the Roaring Moon future version. Just want, just want some hits, come on. Come on, don't let us down. Full Metal Lab. Oh, Whimsicott. Three packs left. They they weren't kidding when they said this. This is tough. This really is. This is painful. These are the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, which some might argue you're not meant to open. Or you're only getting them because of the promos. Wow, this is... Guys, you, you've seen us? Okay, what's it going to be? Hey, Colossal. Okay. It's like, maybe we might get a show rare in there. It's too much to ask for. Vika Vault. Relicap. Now, that is a good card. which should have been talking these a bit. Here we go. Into a Mel Metal. Two, two packs to go. And one hit. Come on. One hit out of the two. Wow, guys. I'm, I, like I said, I know it's brutal, but whew, this is. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is brutal. This is uh, they weren't kidding. Oh, another buddy, buddy puffin. Okay, so we've got three now. Tor Cat who evolves into that Pokemon, which we'll never know. Heavy Baton into a Flutter Main. So I thought, do you know what? Maybe it's just a bad, bad ETB. Just an absolute bad ETB. The future one. We're we'll absolutely smash out of the park with the ancient. Maybe the ETBs. On we've we've been spoiled in the last couple of sets. In the last couple of sets, especially with the uh, Pardane Fates getting loads that. Maybe we're just used to that, but now, whew, 
fact is, is this just not worth buying ETBs or buying once and that's it? Don't know. Eri, Shaman, Sandy Shocks into a fluff. I don't want to be that person that's complained, but all we got out of two Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs was the Maridon, the Iron Boulder Full Art. So we've got a Full Art out of it, and Coridon EX, and a Salvatore Full Art. Don't know what else to say, guys, but clearly this set is going to take an absolute mission to collect, which is both fun. And not fun. So let me know down below if you're struggling to open up cards in the set as well. Clearly it's not going to be that easy. Maybe we've had it good and we just haven't realised it. This is going to be a set that's going to go up in value very quickly. Didn't even open an A spec and they're already really high. So who knows. A video will be coming out so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And until then, I'll catch you next one. Take care guys. See you.